Welcome back to Caitlin's Corner. Today I'm here for July's Plan With Me. I'm starting off with a cover page for the month. If you follow me on Instagram at Caitlin Marie De Silva, you may have noticed that last week I put up a ton of polls on Instagram stories asking you guys to make decisions on how my spreads would be created this month. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, then you should definitely go hit me up at Caitlin Marie De Silva so that you don't miss out on having your voice heard. One of the polls had asked whether or not I should try incorporating photos or sticky notes into a spread this month and the votes ended up being in favor of incorporating photos. So because I am doing this little suitcase spread because I'm going to Portugal this month, I thought it'd be cool to print out photos of some destinations in Portugal and then cut them into little stamps, kind of like what would be on a on a suitcase from traveling around the world. I used a Tombow glue pen, which will be linked in the description box below, as well as all other products that I used in today's video. And I made it really easy to stick them on, especially because the stamps uh, were so small. But I really loved how the spread came out. I think it's one of my favorite monthly covers that I've ever done. As a side note, I did, or I am realizing as I do this voiceover, that those bottom two suitcases look like they have faces on them. Now that I see it, I can't unsee it. You guys also voted that this month should have a pink and blue color scheme, so I added pink and blue and even some tan to the detailing of the luggage, just so that the color could be incorporated without being too overpowering. to really the first official spread which is my month at a glance you guys voted that you wanted to see a two-page month at a glance so I kind of kept it similar to my uh, month at a glance last month except this month I didn't incorporate the trackers into the month at a glance although I really love that and we'll do it in the future. I just wanted to switch it up this month. However, to make it a little bit more interesting, I brought in a lot of pink. And I do mean a lot of pink. <laughs> Using my Tombow, I just started coloring in essentially the background. And what you're seeing sometimes me do with my finger is actually blend any overlaps when I was coloring in. If you use your finger right away after you draw something with the Tombow, it'll kind of blend it a little bit so the, the lines aren't as harsh. So you can definitely still see that it's not one solid pink color, but by doing that, it definitely made the lines in between each color a little less intense. closest polls was definitely the one where I asked whether I should create a reading list, a summer reading list spread, or a girl boss habit spread. So I decided to give you both. The first one that I'm creating here is my summer reading list. And instead of just listing out the books I want to read this summer, I thought it'd be a little bit more fun to include a quote of each book that I want to read. I used Goodreads to find the quotes for each book because obviously I haven't read any of them so this was the only way to really find a quote but I thought this was just a really cool alternative to a simple list because now this spread is something that can inspire me and also something that's getting me excited to read each book. spread many of you wanted to see was a mood tracker and I knew going into it that I wanted to make my mood tracker this month fun because it's summer which summer is just a fun time of the year so it deserves a fun spread and with a pink and blue color theme I thought the perfect way to make this spread a little bit more fun was to incorporate popsicles so I created a gigantic popsicle and within the popsicle there's a line for each day of the month at the end of the day I'll color in a line with the color that matches with my mood and at the end of the month I should be left with a really delicious looking popsicle I want to see lots of pinks the occasional blue but uh, no grays <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a gray popsicle and that just does not sound like an appetizing time
next spread is my girl boss habits spread where I am listing out just a sample of some habits that I think are aligned with what it means to be a girl boss and when I think girl boss I just think of someone who's independent and confident and is really just going after what she wants in life. I also included a little inspiring quote at the top and I'm using this spread both as a reminder for myself to you know regularly adopt these habits but also to be an outline for a future video. I do want to do a video on this and kind of elaborate on some of these habits and other habits and tips and tricks and, and all that fun stuff. So if that sounds interesting to you, please let me know by answering this poll. One thing I really loved about this spread was the fact that it is just, you know, a list, but I think the way I laid it out makes it a little bit more visually appealing. The last spread is a weekly spread and this was another one that caused quite the divide in the polls. Horizontal weekly spread won out but vertical weekly spread was close behind so I actually created a vertical weekly spread exclusively for Instagram TV so if you go head over to my Instagram page you can go watch me create that from start to finish and that should be available on my Instagram TV channel definitely. But this horizontal spread is one of my favorites that I've ever created. It's got habit trackers incorporated on the right hand side. There's a tracker for hydration, self care, reading and gratitude. And even though it is a horizontal spread, I created two columns of pink so that I can create vertical lists within the horizontal spread. That's the way I like it. But if you truly love the horizontal layout, then you can just, you know, eliminate that middle pink bar and use that space to do whatever planning you want to do. And that concludes this month's plan with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really love these spreads and loved having you part of the planning process for the plan with me. Give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and let me know in the comments below what is one spread that you would love to see me create in August's plan with me. I will see you all very soon with a new video and until then, bye guys.